your mind is like a mirror, it is reflecting all this. You can see this one and this one, but you cannot see this one because this one is behind the mirror. You must do one simple thing, within a few days, you will be on the other side of the mirror. I would like to ask you uh, if you could relate an experience of divinity within yourself. <laughs> it's like this. The reason why it has not come into everybody's experiences, because everybody believes something. The only thing that I have done with myself is, I have remained uneducated. Just the way I was when I was an infant, the same way I am in my mind, nothing. In the sense, remaining uneducated is not easy. Because from the first day you are born, your parents, your teachers, every adult, Pandit, Mullah, priest, everybody is trying to teach you something that's not worked in their life. Yes, it's very simple to check whether it's worked in their life or not. Suppose you have a child in your house, three, four, five years of age, between you and the child, who is more joyful? Who should be a consultant for life? Miserable ones or joyful ones? So, if you look at those people who are giving you all kinds of advices and teachings, first look at their face, don't listen to their words. If they are really blissed out, you must listen to them. We must know how they got so blissful <laughs> If they're miserable, it doesn't matter what big things they are saying, the goddamn things have not worked for them. So the only thing I did with myself is, remained uneducated. That means, not getting identified with your parentage, with your family, with your religion, with your culture, with the philosophies floating around, with the politics, with stuff happening around you. You can be involved, but you're not identified. Once you're not identified, it is natural for human intelligence to turn inward and find this naturally. But because we have ready-made conclusions, we know where God is, of course. We know his name, we know his wife's name, we know how many children he has, we know his birthday, we know what he likes for his birthday. This is a serious problem. But you don't know a damn thing about yourself. As I already told you, the only and only thing that you can experience is this life is what happens within you. You cannot experience what happens here. You can only experience what happens here. If you see this, you know this only the way it's projected in your mind, isn't it? There is no other way to know it. But belief gives you an outlet from this. If you understand, if you don't believe anything, if you don't dis disbelieve anything, naturally every human being would have turned inward because they believe they're looking heavenward. If you don't make these conclusions, the nature of human intelligence is, it will naturally understand the seat of your experiences within you. If you… right now, the way you're seeing the world is, your mind is like a mirror, it is reflecting all this. You're not seeing it here, you're seeing it within. So this mirror is showing you everything. Don't believe it is a plain mirror, <laughs> many distortions but still it is showing things. But it never shows you who you are. You can see this one and this one and that one and that one and that one, but you cannot see this one because this one is behind the mirror. You must do one simple thing. I don't know if you will attempt this, but you try this. If you pay attention, 
right now you're sitting, uh, you know, sitting for two hours already, this is happening. When you stand up, a certain pleasantness spreads through you, not the relief of the muscles. Something deeper if you notice, a certain pleasantness happens. Or you've been standing for a long time, you sit down, a certain pleasantness happens. Or let's say you've been thirsty, you drink a glass of water, not the coolness of water, not the thirst going away, much deeper down a pleasantness happens. You lie down in your bed after a full day, you will see a certain pleasantness spreads through you. You wake up in the morning, certain pleasantness spreads through you. Because you're in a constant state, as I said, mental diarrhea, you don't notice anything. I'm saying pay little attention. Today, when you go home for dinner, wherever you go for dinner, you're a young girl, so I'll leave it to you. Wherever you go for dinner, don't eat till you're really hungry. Then food comes, wait. You really want to eat right now? Just wait for two minutes, just look at the food, wait, then slowly eat. When the food goes into you, you will see the entire body response in a certain way, certain pleasantness spreads through you. You keep paying attention to this. Right now, it's not that you're completely ignorant of this, but generally most people don't stay with this pleasantness for more than two to three seconds. You manage to stay there, let's say twelve to fifteen seconds. Within a few days, you will be on the other side of the mirror and you will not ask me this question. You will know what it means to live with the divine. Right now you're living on the wrong side of the mirror, seeing multiple images, a kaleidoscope happening, but you can never see yourself or the nature of your existence. The processes of ecstasy were never written down. It is only in the presence of a certain being those things happen. The yogis have many ways of doing it. Certain nadis in the system, that if you activate them, you will be ecstatic. If this humanity overflows, then divinity will come in search of you.